Hi you guys, it's Nico Jeanette and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe down below. I talk all about DIYs, thrifting, and everything affordable. This video today is all about DIY clip-ins. So currently I'm going through a transition and I am natural. I've been natural for about a year and a half. And right now I have a protective style and I always wear protective styles. Like it's been my go-to. This wig here, like I made it myself and I got the hair from Hair Envy here in Atlanta. And it's been my go-to for all of my work events and everyday wear because I am so tired of doing my hair and I am in a rut right now you guys I am in a position in which I don't know what to do with my hair and it's just it's been it's definitely been a challenge for me so this video is all about making your own clip-ins I've got a lot of requests and a lot of compliments with this natural hair clip-ins that I recently made for myself and the good thing about it it matches my texture so well that you can't even tell that it's clip-ins at all so I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step. I'm actually gonna take off my wig and show you guys exactly how I do my clip-ins I hope you stay tuned So the first step is to purchase your hair. I got this from a local hair store here in Atlanta. It's called Kinky and I got this for $25. All of the details will be listed below. Also, while you're at the hair store, make sure to pick up some clips. They range about $3 to $4 a piece and you need them. Okay you guys, so let's get started. We have our clips here. We also have our needle and thread which is very important for this hairstyle. And we have our scissors here which is good for cutting the wefts. And lastly, you would need a comb. A comb is for, you know, teasing the hair a little bit. So what we're doing here, we're basically just opening the weft from the package. And I'm just going to estimate how wide my head is and how, you know, long I want to cut each weft. You can either put this on your head yourself and try to measure it out. But me, I'm just estimating how wide I think my head will be. So now that I have all of the pieces where I think my width of my head is, it's now time to move on to the sewing portion. If you've never taken sewing classes, um, I suggest you kind of look up a video here on YouTube on how to sew. Because it's kind of really hard to explain, but I'm going to try to do my best. So what I'm doing here is basically just making sure the wefts are aligned. And I'm taking the needle and I'm just pulling it through each of the wefts. So you have to make sure all of the wefts are aligned together and then you pull the needle, you thread the needle of course, and then you pull it through all of the wefts. You really have to be careful because you don't want to poke yourself with this needle because you will start bleeding immediately. Um, but like I said, if you've never taken a sewing class or you really do not know how to sew, I really suggest you looking up a YouTube video. Um, it's very easy, it's very basic, um, but you do need to know how to sew in order for you to get the clip-ins down pack. And if you do find this is quite difficult for you, I would say just getting some hair glue and hair glue in each of these left together and call it a day. So now that we have our wefts sewed together, it's time to add the clips onto the wefts. These clips are a little bit more easier to me. It's up to you if you want to purchase the ones with the little circles on the end, which you can sew onto your wefts. But these clips, all you have to do basically has two prongs on the side, and you need a hard surface because you have to put the wefts in between the prongs and hold it down, and this is exactly how it looks. Super easy, but the only thing with these, it's they cannot come off once they're on. So now y'all about to see me take off my wig. Now do not be judging me. Don't come in my comments coming for me because I am going through a transition like I told y'all. And I am a year and a half natural. And this is my baby. I wear her every day.
So this is how my hair looked after I took down all of the braids. As you can tell, some of the roots are a little bit more defined from the braid out than the ends. And that's just because I forgot to put a lot of product on the ends of my hair. What I'm doing here now is just separating my hair so I can start to add the clip-ins in. I use these little big prong clips. It works better for me, but it's up to you what you want to use. You can either use a ponytail holder or whatever. I can't, I actually don't even have a mirror, so I can't really see exactly where I'm putting all the clip-ins in, so I'm just kind of guessing um, where my part is. It's up to you if you want to use a comb to have a more defined part. Um, but I'm just showing you guys this for the tutorial. So we have one clip in already down. It's so easy to put these clip ins in. As long as they're secured very tightly, you are going to be perfectly fine. If you can tell already, this are, matches kind of perfectly to my hair. And like I said, this was kinky hair. And all I did to establish this look was just braid my hair down in like 12 different braids and this is how it came out and like I said before the parts are not gonna be perfect but I am doing the best I can considering I have no mirror in front of me So, this is how the clip-ins look. This is my finished portion. Of course, like sometimes if you feel like your hair is not blended with the clip-ins, what I like to do is either before or after, I like to take each clip-in and get like a comb and kind of like, like, what do they call it, tease it out a little bit so that it can be a little bit more fuller so you can have that, I guess, afro type of look. Like right now, of course, I'll have to play with a little, little bit to get it more blended, but this is how it looks at first. And it, you guys can see it really match, matches uh, my texture of my hair. And let me show you the back of it. Of course, you have to make sure it's not... Any of your clip-ins are not showing. That's the main part. Do not have your clip-in showing. Okay, but yes, some of the styles that I love to do with these clip-ins is, so I left a lot of my edges out. Um, so I like to either leave it out like this. It depends on where I'm going. I either like to leave it out like this, and I get some bobby pins. And what I do is I leave some of it out here and I twist it in this little cute little twist. And you always have to make sure, like I said, that the clip ends are not showing. That's the main part. Make sure they are not showing. So I twist it a little bit here. Put the bobby pen. We have one side with a little bang here. You can also do it on the other side as well. This is like my go-to style when I'm just like running around on oh, dad. I don't want to really do too much to the hair, but I still want to have the clip-ins in. You know, some type of events you might want to go to or whatever. Put the clip-ins in. Super cute. Other style that I have like I said, one style was keeping it out, other styles twisting it back. You can either like flip your hair as well. However you want to do it, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And as you can tell, like I said, 
it's very blended in with my natural texture hair. And I'm not saying like you can't find one that matches you. I'm currently a 4C texture hair. And for me to get like a very super defined twist out or braid out, I have to keep my braids or twist in for about two to three days. Um, and during those two to three days, I usually wear my protective style, which is my wig. And um, if I'm going somewhere super fancy, I will just braid my hair down and then take these out and just easily clip my clip-ins in. But this is like the second style here. And the last one is just like throwing it up in a ponytail like this. Keeping it back. Can't do it now, but of course you can like either slip back your edges and put it in a cute little bun. And the good thing about it is it matches your hair texture like so cute. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm going to play around with my hair a little bit and get it to match. I have all of the details from the hair, um, how I did everything, um, everything that you want to know, it's going to be listed down below. So thank you for tuning in, and see you guys later.